cast. Thanks, Ballant. Now, despite what many believe, there's a lot that happens here in central Illinois, and today we're taking the time to highlight some of the events happening in Bloomington. I want to welcome back Mike Wilcott, Assistant Director of Arts and Entertainment, here to tell us about the events we should be keeping an eye out for, starting with the ultimate Michael Jackson experience coming up this weekend, Mike. Yeah, we got a great show called Who's Bad coming in. Uh, Who's they bad? are nationwide well-known for what they do for Michael Jackson, and we're very excited about that. Already a large crowd but still room for more. Yeah. Uh, before we move on, I do want to take the time to go back a little bit because you guys did have Kevin Gates and I heard they packed the house out. Yeah, we had a big crowd, nearly sold out a half house for us in the arena, which is about 4,000 people. Wow. So we had a great crowd for that. Uh, they were very active that night, which was great <laughs> for us. Kept us very busy on our toes. But had a great experience overall. I hope to have them back in the future too. Yeah, and they have plenty more reasons and events to come back and enjoy. So let's talk about some more things you guys have going on. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, we're doing a big stage show uh, showing the movie behind a shadow cast. Those people that are dancing like they do on the movie in front of you while the movie's playing behind them. Also, the first ever Columbia from the movie, mm. uh, Nell Campbell, is going to be here with us, too, doing some VIP meet and greets, stuff like that. So it's coming up next weekend. That's right. And what else do you guys have coming up that? Because you have a month full of things. I mean, we yeah. can literally go through the yeah. entire list and talk about it all. But I want you to hit yeah. a few of the events that you're most excited about. Uh, we're very excited for Evolution Motown, a great show again coming next weekend as well on the 12th. That's going to be a great show. Uh, kind of going through the uh, the emergence of Motown from the beginning to even the, some of the top hits of today. Uh, very cool show. And then, of course, Bloomington Bison Hockey uh, yes. starting in the arena here in just a few days. Pretty exciting. So they have two games coming up, an opener as well as the first one. Yes, our, pre, our preseason game against the Indy Fuel is coming up on the 12th. Yeah. And then the 19th is opening night. It'll be a big street party before that. We'll talk more about that very soon. Nice. Uh, but taking on Toledo Walleye for opening night uh, should be an absolute blast. It sounds like it's going to be a blast. I know there is a lot of excitement with the Bison coming. We were just talking about that earlier, um, getting ready to see them. But, I mean, how has this impacted, like, how has the events and the amount of things you have been bringing impacted the area of Bloomington? Well, we've seen a big impact um, you know, on the, eco on the econ economy as well. Uh, just in Bloomington alone with our events with the IHSA, we have the finals mm. for cheerleading, dance, and then uh, girls and team wrestling at the arena. So the early part of the year is very busy now. We've just been trying to find things to fill out the rest of the year. We're doing that with Bison Hockey and much more. So let's talk about some of the amenities at the arena. When people come out to these shows, let's talk about the food and the other experiences that they get yeah. to engage in. We've been uh, taking on a hands-on approach with the food big time. Uh, when I first started there back in October, I was like, our food's kind of, eh. you know, <laughs> let's make it better. So we've got a new food and beverage manager, Josh Todd, who's been working hard. Uh, nice. He's a classically trained chef. Uh, has a great resume. Oh. His team's been killing it. A chef, so. so are we talking? We talking real food, not just the popcorn and hot dogs. Yeah, we burgers. got our we got our smoker. We have a huge industrial smoker. smoker. We got it going for the first time in five years, just a couple months ago, wow. and been trying out a lot of recipes in there, including some of the original barbecue sauces that were made in house at the arena many years ago. Uh -huh. We tracked down those recipes and are making those again too. Oh my goodness, that is great! You guys have a jam packed month ahead. So where can people find all of these events? We've got all the details online, of course. Our website, artsblooming.org for the BCPA and Gross Senior Motors Arena for the arena. Um, you can also find both of them on Facebook. Very easy to find us from both venues on there as well. So lots happening. Um, you know, great way to find out about it is just to track us online. Absolutely. And a great way to find out about it is you coming in and telling us, which we yes. appreciate you doing. We're glad to be here. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, guys, if you're someone you know would like to join us here on In The Know, just head to 25newsnow.com, follow the Features tab to In The Know, and submit the form. Stick with us. We have one birthday that we're celebrating when we come back.